Alex's Lemonade Stand is a national childhood cancer foundation. Founded by Alex Scott, the organization prides itself in raising money for new treatment research and cures for children battling cancer. In 2000, at the age of four years old, Alex Scott opened her first lemonade stand while fighting neuroplastoma, a pediatric cancer. Little did she know, that stand would make a huge impact for years to come. Today, Alex's Lemonade Stand has over 100 business partners, many ambassadors, and thousands of Lemonade Stand hosts. Collegium Charter School is one of those hosts. In June, Collegium will host its annual Alex's Lemonade Stand event. This year, Collegium chose to recognize CCS kindergarten student Jackson Ford during their annual fundraiser. Jackson was diagnosed with retinoplastoma, a rare eye cancer, when he was five years old. His mother, Susan Ford, elaborates on the disease. It affects about 250 kids per year in the United States. Um, generally, those children are 18 months and younger, so he was in an extremely rare population. Not only was Jackson put into a rare population for the cancer that he had, but he was put into an even smaller one in school as he was the only student to battle such an illness. But with the support of Collegium, Jackson remains in high spirits. I feel special because all of my friends are supporting me. Although Jackson is in remission and is doing much better now, the retinoplastoma took a toll on him and his family when he was undergoing treatment. When I was in treatment, I felt scared that I was not going to survive. Jackson's cancer um, affected our family in that it was hard to, with four children, have um, time for everybody. Um, there were a lot of trips to the hospital, um, a lot of um, follow-ups and blood checks and lots of other things. Of course, everybody was worried about him and just trying to attend to everybody's needs um, and their fears associated with it um, and trying to answer questions and be realistic with all of our children at a level that they could understand um, was, you know, was new to us. With the recognition of Jackson during Alex's Lemonade Stand, he and his family are extremely grateful. Mrs. Morgenstern, a third grade teacher at Collegium, is the coordinator of this year's event and she was able to work closely with the Fords. Mrs. Morgenstern planned the event for several years now and although she loves it, having to recognize a child with cancer is never easy for her to do. I wish that we didn't have to honor anybody here at Collegium because that would mean that no student would have cancer, but unfortunately it is the reality that we do have some students here who have in the past undergone treatment or who are currently undergoing treatment. The teachers at Collegium are not the only ones involved in Alex's Lemonade Stand. It is a school community effort that the students love to participate in as well. My favorite thing about having an event like this at Collegium is um, working with the third grade students and watching their excitement, knowing that they're able to participate in a, in a cause like this and hearing when it, we get to tell them the amount of money we raised, just seeing their reaction, um, that's a great thing. And just working as a community, watching our school come together as a community and um, raising money for a great cause. Now that Jackson is cancer free, Mrs. Ford says that he goes to the doctor every three months to make sure that the retinoplastoma is still in remission and that a weight has definitely been lifted off of the entire family. It's such a blessing to have um, the support of the entire school of Collegium for um, both Jackson and our family and Alex's Lemonade Stand. Jackson remained very strong throughout his sickness and he persevered. He wants other children to know that they can be strong too. I would say to other kids who have cancer to always be brave. 